Howdy, howdy, it's Shocktober, which means the gang and I are doing another shockingly spooky challenge. Today, we're gonna try and stay inside this haunted house for an entire night. You guys ready? Ready. Ready. Wait, what was that? Eh, it was probably just the wind. Yeah, then how do you explain all these objects suddenly floating around? Probably just the wind. And how do you explain that spooky voice? We're telling you, little apple, it's probably just the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like we're all here. The sun's going down, so I'm locking us in now. Oh, hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> har, har, orange. All right, nobody panic. I came prepared. Reels, you brought night vision goggles? <laughs> what a funny word. Goggle, 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 goggle. We get goggle. it, orange. Goggle, 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 goggle. <laughs> hey, you ever say a word so many times it starts to sound crazy? I've hung out with a certain orange so many times, I'm beginning to think I must be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> probably. All right, let's start exploring the super spooky house. I'll go with orange, and grapefruit can go with little apple. Hey. Where is he? Well, that's more than a little concerning. <laughs> okay, so we're one hour into the challenge and still no sign of Little Apple. Or the fuse box. We are seeing some pretty unbelievable stuff, though. Floating plates, apparitions. The up dog under there. Underwear? <laughs> Made you say underwear. <laughs> How on earth did I fall for that? Seriously, though. What's up, dog? Not much. What's up with you, dog? <laughs> wow, did I deserve that? For someone without legs, you should manage to walk into that one, dude. Speaking of walking into it, I just found the fuse box. Here we go. Hopefully this will get the lights back on. Commencing countdown. Five, four, five, three, seven, eight, two, nine, seventy-seven, uh, zero, negative two zillion, eleven teen. <laughs> uh, that's it. I'm just gonna throw it. It worked. Great job. Grapefruit? Oh no. Grapefruit's gone! This is terrifying! Really? Because I didn't hear you scream or anything. Well, it's not that terrifying. Hmm, I guess you're right. Well, Pear, it looks like it's just you and me for the rest of the night. And that's the 453rd reason I like boogers. Ah, dude, would you stop? The sun is gonna be up any moment and we have to find our friends. They're under there. I am not in the mood for underwear jokes, okay? Orange, I am scared out of my mind. Ghosts have stolen our friends and all we have now are each other. Oh, so it's just you and me now, got it? All we have are each other. You understand what I'm saying? O Orange, Orange, ah, the ghost got them all and I'm next. What do I do? What do I do? Look, under here. Under, oh, oh, dang it, Orange. Even as a ghost, you're trying to prank me. Where are you? <laughs> I told you, under here. Yeah, bro. I got a controller with your name on it if you want in on some Mario Kart. What the heck, you guys? Sorry, I was just so bored and, well, you know how I get around Mario Kart. I just I can't the help of myself. <laughs> but, but Grapefruit, you disappeared too. Well, yeah, you know how I feel about couch forts, bro. I just can't the help of myself. <laughs> Things were floating in midair. I told you already. It was probably just the wind. <laughs> oh. So how about it, bro? You in or not from Mario Kart? Well, if there's a logical explanation for everything, I guess I'm in. Well, we did it, guys. We survived the haunted house for an entire that's true! Go us! <laughs> yeah! Although, there's one thing I'm wondering about. Remember that spooky voice from earlier? Where did that come from? Who did that voice? Not me. Wasn't me? Wasn't me either! Oh, that was me! 